Hey guys, I want to do a quick demonstration of flashing our, our Arduino Nano to act as an Arduino Uno. I just want to go to our ID here and just show you that if we could try to program it as an Uno here, okay, and this is also, see I connected it via USB, um, back to here. If I try to upload this blank piece of code, we are going to get the error. I'm going to pause it. That takes a while to come up. Okay, so here you can see the problem uploading to board error. So let's go ahead and fix that so we can actually download a piece of Arduino Uno code to our Nano here. Okay, so first thing you got to do is actually do some wiring. So what we're going to do is take our Arduino Uno and wire it up in a special way so that we can then connect it to the Nano, which is down here. And then we're going to use this guy, the Uno, to program the bootloader onto the Nano. All right, so this bunch of wires here, it may look complicated, but it's actually not too bad. If you go to the Arduino website, they have the instructions on how to do this. I'll just show you what it looks like, see. Just, just Google Arduino as ISP, um, and you'll find this. Now, this is the wiring here, and uh, this one's what we want. We use the Arduino Uno as the programmer, and then the Nano is our target, the place that's going to receive our new bootloader. Okay, so I've already done this wiring. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I've already created this nice thing. The key thing here, I just kind of put... I put this masking tape on the brown wire, which is pin one. That helps us when we do the orientation here. I'm going to disconnect this. And then I'm going to uh, put this together. All right, one second here. OK, so I've gone ahead and connected this together. Notice I've the brown pin one. I connected it right to, let's get this focused here. See the brown wire goes through the pin one right there on the Nano. It's important when we do this, we want to make sure the pins are in the right place. OK, now what I'm going to do is take the Uno which is connected to this blue USB cable. And we don't need this anymore for now. Let's plug this in. All right, and what you see here is that the Uno is now on, and then the Nano here is getting power from the Uno. So you don't need two separate uh, power supplies. So you don't need a separate power supply for the Uno, or the, sorry, you don't need a separate separate power supply for the Nano, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's go back here. We're gonna open up our Arduino. Now there's a few settings here and it's actually pretty easy. You go to tools and set the ports. Okay, COM3, again, uh, that's that's fine. And we're using the Uno at this point. The Nano itself is not connected via USB. See, there's no cable there, just the Uno. Okay, going back here. Now, what we need to do is go to uh, Programmer, and we're going to use Arduino as ISP. Click that. Okay, some part, there's a part that I didn't show you, uh, but I'll kind of refer to it. Before you start using the bootloader, or burning the bootloader, what you have to do is put a special sketch onto the Arduino Uno so it's able to uh, do the bootload process or burn the bootload process. Okay, so here also on Arduino site, there's this, you can see that it shows there's an example and then there's this Arduino ISP sketch and you upload that to the Arduino Uno before you do this. So I won't show that, but just want to let you know that there is that process. So I've already done that to the Uno. Okay. So once you've done that, let's go back here. So right now we have our Uno and our Nano connected. Our Uno is connected to the laptop. And now we go here and we go to Programmer. And we're going to say Arduino as ISP. Now the port's good. That's uh, the one that's not one, COM3 is good. OK, now on the board, this is where we pick the bootloader that we want to send to the Nano. So we want to send the Arduino Uno bootloader to the Nano. So I click that. 
Now, I don't click Upload. What I do is go to Tools, and I click Burn Bootloader. And see how here it says Burning, and it's going to be real quick. It says this may take a minute. It says Done Burning Bootloader. If you get a bunch of errors, I would double check your wires, double check your settings. But it says Done, and uh, we're good, so let's just test it real quick. All right, so I have my Arduino Nano, which is actually in Arduino Uno now, hooked up via USB. And let's go to our IDE here. We'll go to Tools. Now we're going to just do a regular upload now, so we want to make sure we change programmer to the regular, like AVR ISP. It's good. And then now Port, Con3 is good. The board, yep, we're going to click check Arduino Uno because our nano board can actually act as an uno now hopefully okay so we clicked uno let's upload this blank piece of uno sketch into it it says compiling uploading done uploading so we are now able to upload an arduino uno sketch to our nano success all right that's it for now